No Excel 5. Slow down photography. I recently opened the archive of my early days with the Leica M6. The photos from 2007 are anything but brilliant. They're just casual shots taken in between digital shots. So called free time photos taken separately during the serious work photography. I remember I had a hard time figuring out how to shoot analog. Without the display confirming my shots, I was completely in the dark. Looking through these 10 year old photos was interesting to say the least. The decade had added an historical aspect. It doesn't make the photo better, but it tells a story. I had started practicing on my analog Leica during an Australian road trip in early 2007. I was shooting the German slopestyler Joshua Forstreuter, but he sadly injured himself at the beginning of the trip. What a coincidence that the bus in the background was not in service. I figured out that black and white photography is all about seeing the contrasts. We hung out in bike shops, I realized the meaning of a chain store. Red Hills at Sydney, they still exist. This is Pierre Edouard Ferry, also known as Path. You know the Frenchie from multiple Red Bull Rampages. About contrast again, it actually makes the composition of the whole picture. However, the casual snapshots are the most fun. In summer 2007, I was at the Mega Avalanche in ArcGIS. It seems like nothing has changed since then. The same beautiful mountain panorama, the same queue and the same mass start. Adrenaline rises when the helicopter appears. But 2007 was the unique year Mick Hanna showed up. He got tangled up in a crash at the mass start and folded his rear wheel. Shooting the World Cup was my business and I knew this shot will never make money. The Leica rather put me in the position of an observer, watching other people doing their job. Josh Bryceland watching the practice. Alex Rankin, the Dirt Magazine filmer. Dan Atherton and Steve Beat inspecting the course while Mick Pascal was on his training run. Look at his signature riser bar here. Sam Hill on his iron horse, ripping the Schlappning course. He took the 2007 overall win. Honda G-Cross team and Brandog. This was the pro motorsport feeling brought to mountain biking. Look at Red Boy Just Brathland. Steve Pete was number one at that time. And who would have guessed Josh would follow him to the top only seven years later in 2014. This is Nico Fink. Nico is still one of the coolest riders to watch. This is for the tech nerds. Does anybody know this Nikolai model? The 2018 season just kicked off with new teams, new riders, new bikes. I will go through my 2008 archive and will tell you what was hot 10 years ago. Stay tuned.